Pity Beats here from Bob Turner. This being to current cliche about Thanksgiving, which is going to be available in theaters starting November 17th. Welcome to the show. Thanks much for being here. Thanks for having me. This is fun. I mean, Thanks. it's so exciting. I mean, here's the thing. Like, I... I'm a big horror movie guy. So what ended up happening was I was dialed in for all the announcements for this, right? Like, you know, the first announcement came out, new Eli Roth movie, Thanksgiving, Slasher. The trailer comes out. You're in the trailer. There's some crazy things happening. Like, what was, okay, like, did you even know that they were going to put all that in the trailer? Like, that's crazy. Um, no, we did. We don't know <laughs> until this stuff comes out, right? So all of a sudden, my face, they're like, ah! <laughs> this, of all the faces I have, that's the one that's, that's it's gone global, right? Uh, so yeah, no, you have no idea, but I was thrilled. It's so crazy and everything. And I feel like, you know, being part, like, horror movies have always been around, Karen, but specifically, there's been this kind of surge, and we're like, spooky season has kind of been a little like was crazy with so many kind of movies and now we're getting into more kind of the holiday season but it's still a perfect time for thanksgiving and everything what's it like working on a horror movie at a time where there is such a like appetite for that content right now i love how you threw an appetite good one <laughs> i got it <laughs> i heard you uh no i mean it's great and it's so funny because i did saw six years ago right so i was already kind of familiar with the like hunger for this kind of stuff but um and the anticipation for this movie was like it's been 15 years right since grindhouse um so no i mean it's great people are loving it people are so excited for it and um you know it's great it's it's it takes um a new meaning out of thanksgiving hey this is my cat trying to, like, <laughs> the, there's a lot of people that had to do a double take about the like the thanksgiving from fifth the, the grindhouse there's a lot of people who were like oh yeah <laughs> yeah yeah no it's it's been a long time coming so yeah it's great i mean it's going to be definitely it's it's a it is about family and friends on thanksgiving but and not the kind of uh heartwarming movie i swear expect. you know what are they, what are, what is the official name for the things that you use for the corn of the cob is there an official name for them you know you know what i'm talking about in the trailer that was yes. the most, ah. well now they're going to be the now they're going to be ear piercers so they're going to have a whole was, new i actually went like ah like I, like, I usually like, don't do that, but I actually went, ah. And then um, I do find it really cool with this because and I'm really excited to chat with you about this and ask you this because, you know, there's two kind of components here. There's the traditional slasher. There's someone in this town killing everyone, right? Mm -hmm. So we look back, we look at, you know, Friday the 13th and Halloween, like the slasher, right? And everything. And in those, you know, we know who the killer is, right? Jason, Mike Myers. But then with this one, there's obviously that kind of scream thing that we love where there's the who done it, right? Where we don't know who it is. So it's like a slasher and like a murder mystery at the same time. Do you have you thought about that? Because I feel like people don't realize that until it's kind of brought up in conversations like that. But like it's kind of both if you think about it. Yeah, it's absolutely like a double whammy. So people are there and, and gonna be enjoying, you know, the slasher bit of it, but then also trying to figure out who it is. And I guarantee you, they're not going to get it. No so gonna here get are it. my questions that I'm going to ask you. I got three questions for you. Were you given the whole script like while before? Okay, so you're given the whole script. Okay. Um, did you have a prediction before you read the end of the script of who the killer was? I would be a terrible detective. I had no idea. I had okay, no but idea. You had, but you you said you had an idea. Like, did you have an idea? Did you have a guess? Uh, I was wrong. Let's okay, you were wrong because that was the third. <laughs> I was very wrong. No, and I think, <laughs> but I think that's kind of the thrill, right? Every time these like movies come out, it's like, who is this person? You know what I mean? And like, what are the motives? But most people are gonna go crazy when they see who it oh, is. Oh man, it's so crazy. Uh, filming this movie because I believe that you shot this in uh, March and April, I believe, right? Yeah. So it's pretty that's like pretty quick turnaround and everything. What was it like? being there and kind of just seeing everything and like because i feel like you know depending on the scenes and everything but what was that like just like the small town mentality and everything what was that like filming it well it was amazing so we shot it in toronto just yep. a little bit outside of toronto so that was great to be back there um but i mean what, what was so great about it is that the entire cast and crew including eli who is just amazing i love um was great and everybody just gelled like perfectly and we had so much fun and the crew was amazing and uh it was just really great and we shot in some great locations very creepy locations very ah uh insane locations and i remember there was this one day in one of the scenes we literally had all four seasons happen in like one take it was crazy it was like hailing raining snowing sunshine and we were like how how is this going to be usable <laughs> but i'm sure they worked their magic but it was great it was great the whole vibe on that set was incredible 
I mean, I don't, I want to go into detail about the stuff in the trailer because it's insane. But like, <laughs> I mean, were there some scenes? Because I feel like it's interesting with horror movies because of all like the effects and also like you're in the zone the whole time. Like, were there some of your scenes that were like really scary to film or was, or was it as bad as you would think? Like, I'm just curious about that. Because I've heard situations where people say it wasn't that scary because I didn't see as much happening in the back, right? Because they go, it, it happens in post, right? But like, I'm just curious for some of your scenes, like did it feel scary to film them? Well, you know, I mean, there's that scene where I'm in the oven, right? Like, That's what I'm alluding to. I, I don't even know. Ah, like, come on, like, oh my God. <laughs> I mean, Eli, come on, like. <laughs> but I was so excited when he told me about that and, and how we were going to shoot it. And, you know, yes, I mean, at one point, like all the doors were closed all around me. So like, thank God I wasn't claustrophobic. Right. Because it was real. It was real. So in that sense, I was able to really play off of the terror of being enclosed. I'm not claustrophobic, but sometimes it was close. Um, and, you know, like I'm tied up, you know, so really like as an actor, you obviously know that it's not real, but you have to tap into this zone where you have to sell it. And I really was, you know, trying my best to believe, like to act how it would feel to be in that situation. And it was actually, yeah, it was crazy. And I heard that um, there's a few of the, I think it was a couple of the makeup artists, people had to leave the set. They were like too, it was, they found it too disturbing. So I was like, hey, <laughs> I'm that, selling it. Well. That, trailer, but like, that trailer just messes you up. And of course, the last thing we see is the oven. <laughs> And it's just like, because I'm telling you, I was still, met, I was still, I couldn't get over the corn. Like the corn. Like that. <laughs> You're still on the corn. Yeah, You're like, like, how, are they top, how are they going to top that? And, uh, you know, you're kind of like, wait a second. <laughs> like, uh, we could Here we that. go. Um, I, I do find it, it's interesting you mentioned that about the fact that it's like not real because my coping mechanisms growing up watching horror movies was like, because I got really scared, but then I would watch like The Grudge and like it would be like Sarah Michelle Gellar or like Amityville Horror had like, like Ryan Reynolds in it. And my coping mechanism was just like, it's okay, it's not real. Like it's just Buffy the Vampire or it's just Ryan Reynolds, Bad Wallet. That's how I did it. And that really helped, I find. Like I, I, I envisioned that these are people I've seen in like other roles. Like it's not real. <laughs> yeah, well, good for you. Whatever, listen, whatever works for you, honey. Like whatever soothes. You can always watch this, 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 this video again when you, yeah. you need to be soothed. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think it's like you know, the, this one though has. It's interesting too because this one is like a traditional kind of horror movie where it, we're, we're, we are in terms of like the gore, the jump scares, and everything. It's got the traditional elements, but we're in a kind of period now, Karen, where we're like making movies that like have different ways to scare you, right? The people are scary, the head games, the psychological. So knowing that the landscape is changing, is it kind of cool and refreshing though to kind of be in like a traditional horror movie, like element wise? Like I'm just curious about that. Yeah, because I love, I, I come from a, a big action background, yeah. right? So like, you know, I did a lot of TV series where it was like a lot of action and I love that. that. That's like almost my favorite thing to do. So being part of this kind of slasher and all the action that was part of it was like such a comfort zone for me. And I loved it. I loved really getting into the headspace of, you know, like, ah, like this kind of stuff, you know, it was, it was amazing. So I really, I found a lot of comfort in that, which is, which says a lot about me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what were the conver were there uh, were there some conversations with Eli specifically about specific scenes or was it kind of just like do your thing and like like if, like what were the conversations like with Eli? Oh, he's so great to work with because he, being an actor, right? He knows how to talk to actors. He gives us a lot of freedom. You know, there were some scenes, one scene with Rick Hoffman and I and somebody else, and we were like, we, we he told us to improv certain things. So there's a like a playfulness, and he's so open minded, and he just lets us do our thing. Um, but obviously has a vision and a, and a direction, but always collaborates. And that was that's that's not that's not common. Let's just say. So I loved that. It was great. I still can't think. I still can't get over the the corn. No, I'm joking. I'm over the corn. No, no, no I'm over it. I'm over. It. I'm over it. Did your phone blow up when the trailer came out? Yeah. Well, more so now. I think because now the trailer is like really, really out. People are like, "Is that you? Is that you?" And I'm like, "Yeah, it is. it's me." I I just feel like it's gonna be such a fun time. And there is something about watching a horror movie. In the movie theaters. And I know, like, they've always been around. I've been going to see them all the time in the movie theaters. But there's been something about the sound editing and mixing. Like, the sound... Like, the people that do the sound for movies in post, like, they're the unsung heroes. Like, there's something about the sound of these movies. Like... Yeah. 
Yeah, well, it taps into all of your senses, right? Yeah. And of course, it helps with the jump scares, right? Sound is everything uh, along with visuals. But yeah, I know it's crazy. I mean, especially when like people are getting stabbed, you hear the squishy <laughs> sound. The, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it's something else. It's great. It's great. I can't wait to see in the theater. I haven't seen it. so. And last question for a wrap up. There's always going to be learning experiences, whether you've been on a set one time or a hundred times. What were some learning experiences from an acting storyteller perspective on Thanksgiving for you specifically? Oh, gosh. Uh, well, I mean, learning experience. Um, definitely, I would say um, what I really loved was, like I said, like the, the improv bits that we did. Yep. Um, and just like, you know, because it'd been such a long time, it'd been 15 years since I had done um, a horror or a slasher film like that. And uh, I think it really just like I grew in that way. I know how to sell it more. And I just really um, I learned that I, I love it more than I thought I did. So I want to do more is what I learned. A hundred percent. That's that's a really great answer. And, you know, November 17th, Thanksgiving is going to be in theaters. I can't wait for everyone to see it. Karen, so great chatting with you. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. This is wonderful. Have a great day. Yeah, absolutely. Instagram is where the best way for people to keep up date with you, right? It's just, is it yes. just your name? Karen at Karen Cleish. Yeah, I love I'm always on Instagram too much, but I'm there. <laughs> awesome. Well, it's been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. You can catch Karen Cleish in Thanksgiving. Gonna be in theaters November 17th. Until next time, this is Karen at Peter Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. This has been an autograph communications production.